good morning students this is day 5 of our lesson and uh, this is the very first lesson of grammar so we are going to start with the first chapter the sentence as we know that there are 26 letters in english alphabet when we join those letters together it makes a word and when we join the group of words together with which we get the complete meaning or the complete sense it is called a sentence sentence uh, is that group of words with the help of which we are able to communicate with people we are able to make a person understand our feelings and emotions and the vice versa happens example what is your name what a pleasant weather it is i ate my dinner these are few examples of sentences further we'll be knowing about the kinds of sentences today we'll be imbibed with four kinds of sentences the similarities that all these four kinds have the first one they start with the capital letter and end with the punctuation mark like full stop exclamatory mark or the question mark so the first one is assertive or the declarative sentences which end with the full stop second is interrogative sentences these sentences end with the question mark the third kind of sentence is imperative sentences which again end with a full stop the fourth kind of sentence is exclamatory sentences they end with exclamatory mark so students this is the picture display of sentences of all the four kinds or uh, of all the four types you can say the first one is declarative sentence which makes a statement as here in the picture it is marked a lie told often enough becomes the truth that means when a lie is often repeated enough that is many times it becomes the truth the second kind is interrogative sentence which asks a question like here in the picture it's uh, given what is history but a fable agreed upon so this is the rhetorical question which says that the fables that men have agreed to admit as true with regard to the modern history so the question is what is history but a fable agreed upon the third is imperative sentence which gives a command or the advice so the sentence here given is get in your tanks that means go and start your fight that's a command the last is exclamatory sentence which expresses the sudden feeling or the emotion like the sentence is uh, given ouch that hurts me that is the sudden feeling of getting hurt finally we have discussed all four kinds of sentences so one by one we'll be understanding it so let's start with the very first of its kind assertive or the declarative sentences these are the sentences which states facts or opinion or an idea it will always end with a full stop examples are given below the first one is it is going to rain today so by the weather only by seeing the weather we have estimated that it is going to rain today so that's my opinion the second is india is a developing country and that's a fact which is known to each and every one of us declarative sentences are of two kinds affirmative and the negative one and negative will always have no or not in its sentences the first one is madhuri sings well so that's a positive sentence and it will be r affirmative the second is madhuri does not sing well so i have highlighted that word not there so that you people can make it out that it's a negative sentence not a positive one or not an affirmative one coming to the next kind of sentence is interrogative sentences these are the sentences that ask questions and it will always end with a question mark at the end of the sentence examples are given below where were you did you do your homework these are the question sentences when we question something to someone 
again this interrogative sentence is divided into four of its kind yes no question wh questions tag questions and then choice questions let us know more about the interrogative sentences as we know that there are four kinds of question sentences or say the interrogative ones we are going to start with the first one which is yes or no interrogatives or you can also say yes or no questions so these are the questions that can be answered with a yes or no response for example if i ask you did you do your homework your answer would be yes if you would have done the homework and if you wouldn't have done it your answer would be no so the answer can be given in yes or no that is why it is named as yes or no question or interrogatives the second one is alternative interrogatives and it is also called the choice questions so basically these are the questions that provide a choice and the answer to this choice question is already present in the question itself for example if i ask you would you prefer a chocolate or the vanilla ice cream so the answer is given in the question itself like uh, would you want to uh, go for um, the chocolate or uh, you would prefer the vanilla ice cream hmm coming to the next type of interrogative sentence is wh interrogatives so these are the question sentences that begin with wh words such as who why when where which how for example if i ask you who is your class teacher so you can see the question sentence is starting with a question word that is wh again in the next question if i ask you which is your favorite color so the same concept is applied in the second example also wh question is asked here coming to the last type of interrogatives that is tag questions so these are the questions that are formed by adding an interrogative tag at the end of the declarative or an imperative statement for example mrs lal is your class teacher fine this is the declarative sentence and then the question tag is added here what the question tag will be isn't she the second example is we need to get going now who needs to get going now we so the question tag will be don't we i just want my students to understand and to perceive the intent meaning and the concept of question tags for that i have given you the picture display of the same so we are going to understand it with the first one the first example that is given in the picture is she likes tennis we can analyze it that this sentence is declarative one and this is the affirmative form of the declarative one because no not or no is present in this sentence she likes tennis so what question tag are we going to use at the latter that would be doesn't she why did we use doesn't we use not just because the prior was the yes the prior was the affirmative sentence and we need to use the negative tag that is why we use we we used not here why did we use does here just because we cannot use do with she that is why we have to use doesn't she coming to the second sentence my brother didn't listen to pop music here we can see what kind of sentence is this you analyze and you say it to yourself yes of course this is the negative sentence why because we have used not here did not which makes the question tag as the positive what the question tag will be did he coming to the third example they will go to the birthday party again this declarative sentence is of the affirmative one and so we will use the negative at the latter that means at the question tag we'll use 
won't they because for will we'll use would and just because uh, the first sentence that uh, the prior sentence that means so uh, they will go to the birthday party that was the positive one that is why we'll use not there won't they coming to the last example that is it hasn't rained yet again we can see that this is a negative sentence so we'll be using the positive question tag that would be has it there are certain questions given at the bottom of this so paper it is question tags come at the end or the beginning of the sentence obviously it comes at the end of the sentence second is when the sentence is affirmative what question tag do we use a negative or the affirmative yes it is the negative and the answer is also marked here when the sentence is negative the question tag will always be positive that means it will always be affirmative question tag so students after perceiving the concepts and the knowledge of all four kinds of interrogative sentences let us move further to third kind of sentences and that is imperative sentence which is a grammatical mood that expresses a command a request or a piece of advice for example if you are fighting with your sibling that means so uh, if you are fighting with your uh, brother or a sister and uh, your mother sees that and she orders you she commands you stop fighting then and there that command which she made of stop fighting that comes under imperative sentences if i say you please switch off the lights that means i am making a request here the please word is acting is signifying as a request that switch off the lights if i say you always speak the truth that's a piece of advice i am making to you that you should always speak truth and it's better if you go on the way of speaking truth coming to the last kind of sentences that is exclamatory sentences it actually expresses the sudden feelings and emotions which surprises you with excitement or fear or anger or it would be the happiness etc it will always end with an exclamation mark and the mark is given in the bracket also the examples of exclamatory sentences are we have won the match with excitement the team is saying that yes we have won the match you did a great job for uh, suppose that your result was fabulous you did you put a lot of effort and your result was very nice so the teacher says you did a great job she is sharing her emotions her feelings and she is appreciating you so after the completion of the sentence we will put exclamatory mark in the picture also you can see that a girl is excited girl is very happy so that shows the exclamatory emotion and the feeling after we got imbibed with all four kinds of sentences let us transform the sentences from one kind to the another like uh, how we can change the appearance of the sentences by changing its form by changing its kind like the examples are given below the first one is ravi can swim this is the affirmative sentence of the declarative one so how can we change it to interrogative sentence is the word can which is the auxiliary verb we can bring it to the start of the sentence and then noun after that ravi and then swim so the sentence would be can ravi swim second is rajesh is always on time this is again a positive sentence 
so how can we change it to a negative sentence by adding which word can make this positive sentence a negative one so this will be your homework as this b is highlighted one this is a question for you coming to the next question how kind of you to help me this is the exclamatory sentence because we are expressing our emotion to a person who had been very kind to me and the sentence is ending with exclamation mark so we'll have to change it to a declarative sentence how the sentence will be it was kind of you to help me coming to the next the d question do cheetahs run fast which kind of sentence is this and after making it out that which kind of the sentences you are going to change it to the exclamatory one on yourself again this is highlighted question so students the next day i'll be again providing you with the grammar assignment with certain questions and um, you will be answering it out till then be safe take care and work hard goodbye